now the first step is to restart steam so go to steam click on steam over here click on exit and then relaunch steam and then check next step is to update steam so click, click on steam over here and then click on check for steam client updates and then check next step is to turn off vpn so if you're using vpn turn it off and close vpn if you are not using it you can try it and then check check both off and on and check which one is working fine for you next step is to start easy anti-cheat service now for this you can type in services in windows search box and then click on services now if you find easy anti-cheat over here in my case it's epic online service if you find any easy anti-cheat you can make a right click click on start or you can click on restart so if start is highlighted click on start if restart is highlighted click on restart and then relaunch the game next step is to install ea anti-cheat now for this make a uh, sorry easy anti-cheat make a right click manage browse local files and open easy anti-cheat folder and here you can see set up file make a right click click on run as administrator click on yes to allow and then check if that does not work copy this uh, sorry make a right click and then click on show more option and then click on create desktop shortcut and so click on create short not the desktop just click on create shortcut over here and once the shortcut is created make a right click go to properties and go to the target option in target after inverted comma give one space and then you can type in this install space pr do p r o d hyphen fn so you can after inverted comma give one space install space p r o d hyphen fn and then hit apply at the bottom make sure that you hit apply click on ok and then make a right click and then click on run as administrator then click on yes to allow now relaunch the game and then check still not working allow the game exe file uh, and the yeah, anti, uh, sorry easy anti-cheat file to antivirus program so if you have any third party antivirus like avast to not on bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you have allow the game exe file and easy anti-cheat file to the antivirus program now if you're using windows security go to privacy and security in windows settings click on windows security then click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the bottom you will see manage ransomware protection click on it click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow click on add an allowed app browse all apps and then go to the game installation folder open the game folder select the game exe file click on open again click on add an allowed app browse all apps select this exe file click on open again add an allowed app browse all apps open easy anti cheats select both the files add both the files over here now launch the game and then check next step is to now now the next step is to run these command these commands are provided in the video description so type in cmd in windows search box make a right click on command prompt app make sure that you run command prompt as an administrator click on yes to allow copy all these commands one by one all the commands are provided in the video description paste it over here hit the enter key Now, once you do this, now restart your computer. Restart your computer and then you can launch the game. Still not working. The next step is to try Google DNS server. Now for this, type in control panel in Windows search box. Go to control panel. Go to network and internet. Click on network sharing and network and sharing center. Click on your Wi-Fi. Click on your internet over here. And then go to the properties option. And over here you can see internet protocol version 4 TCP IPv4. You have to select this one and then you have to click on properties over here and then select use the following dns server address for preferred dns server type in number eight 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 and then for alternate type in eight eight four four and then put us upon validate settings upon exit and then click on ok close this close this one now you can launch the game and then check still not working uncheck ipv6 
check it once you are done playing the game. Now for this, you can again click on your internet, go to properties, and over here, uh, here you can see internet protocol version six. If this is checked, uncheck this box. Hit OK, and then you can launch the game and then check. Once you are done playing the game, again go to properties, and then you can put a check on internet protocol version six after you you are done playing the game. Now the next step is to switch to different network so if you have any other network available you can try different network now once you're connected to different network now you can check you can use even mobile hotspot so turn on the data on your phone turn on the hotspot on your phone then you can go to wi-fi and then you will see your phone network over here connect to your phone network and then launch the game next step is to use ethernet connection so if you have if your computer has an ethernet port and if you have an ethernet cable use the wired connection and then check next is to perform power cycle to perform power cycle first of all shut down your computer then unplug the power cable from the computer for maybe one to two minutes and then turn off wi-fi router wait for a few seconds restart wi-fi router connect the power cable back to the computer and restart your computer and then check Next step is to run the game as an administrator. For this, make a right click in the game, select manage, click on browse local files. Now you can try to launch the game from here. Make a right click, click on run as administrator and then check. You can even use this start protected game as an administrator. Make a right click, run as administrator and then check. Still not working. The next step is to verify the game files. Now for this, make a right click on the game, select properties. Go to install files tab and then click on verify integrative game files. Once the verification is 100% complete, launch the game and then check. Next step is to make sure date, time, time zone and region is correct on your computer. So at the bottom right here, you can see the date and time. Make a right click on date and time. Click on adjust date and time. And make sure set time zone automatically. If this is off, turn it on. Also set time automatically. If this is on, if this is off, turn it on. And then click on sync now. Sync now is important. So if you receive any kind of error in red color, click on sync now once again and then check. Go back to time and language, language and region and make sure your country is selected over here and then check. Still not working. The next step is to update Windows to the latest version. Now for this open Windows settings. And then go to Windows update or update in security and then click on check for update. Once all the updates are installed over here, then restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can launch the game and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix the connection issue with the game. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.